Hey everybody, I'm Bruce Ulrich. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this end table with a mini fridge built into it. This was inspired by the Nelson platform bench. The folks over at New Air sent me this mini fridge. It is their 126 can beverage fridge. And the thing holds a ton. I don't even have it full and I have a ton of stuff in here. Enough about this, let's get into the video. I started out at the miter saw by milling some lumber I cut it down to rough size and then I took it over to my planer since these boards were mostly straight. Then I jointed one flat edge at the jointer. Then I was able to cut up all of my strips. I ran them back through the planer to make sure they were all the same thickness since these were all from separate boards. Then I refined them at the drum sander. Next, it was on to my crosscut sled where I cut out small pieces that would be used as spacers in the panels. Usually I try to use a pencil like this to hold the off cut so that once it is freed from the other part, it doesn't fly everywhere. It left some splintery parts on them, so I just turned my random orbit sander upside down and I sanded all of the little spacer pieces like this. It helps to take a little time ahead of time and lay out all the pieces like you want them. What I did next was take them back to the miter saw and cut them to a final dimension. I had left them a little bit long earlier, so now was the time to refine that. Initially, I was doing this one by one, but I figured out that it went much faster to do about four at a time. Using a stop block really increases your accuracy. Now it's time to glue them all together. If you'll take a little bit of extra time and patience in this step, you'll have way less sanding to do. I just used 18 gauge brad nails and some glue and stacked it up as I went. I would do a row of spacers and then I would do the whole slat and just built that up as I went. I made two side pieces like this and I made a top piece that was a little bit narrower. Then I took the finished slatted panels over to my crosscut sled to even up the ends. From there, it was on to the drum sander to make sure they were all smooth and all the same thickness. I realized I measured wrong and I did not calculate for the thickness of the actual wood pieces. So my side pieces were about an inch and a half short. That was solved pretty easily by adding a couple of strips to the bottom. I tried a couple of different methods of evening up the pieces that I added to the bottom. The first one was using the flush trim bit in the router. This worked okay, but it didn't work that great. I actually gouged the piece a couple of times because I didn't have proper support for the router. For the next piece, I just measured the actual thickness and went and trimmed it on the table saw and this worked much better. I used a flush cut saw to trim the ends of all of these pieces that stuck out too far. I had to add a little shim to the width of the top because it was slightly too tight to fit over the mini fridge. It actually kind of turned into a neat design feature. I did some sanding with a random orbit sander, but then I had to go to hand sanding. I didn't want to use a roundover bit or anything like that on all of these edges, but they were way too sharp. So I just broke all of the edges with some 220 grit and hand sanding. I marked out where I needed the screws to go to attach the sides to the top. Then I pre-drilled and added the screws. Next, I used my plug cutter to cut some walnut plugs 
to put in those holes. I just ran the piece after I cut the plugs through the bandsaw and it would release the plugs. Toward the bottom of the piece, the sides wanted to kind of bow in a little bit. So I added these back supports to keep everything spaced properly. They also help with the rigidity and just the lateral movement of the whole piece. I glued in the plugs that I cut earlier by just adding some glue around it and tapping them in. Then I flush cut them with a saw. I went with a spray lacquer for this finish because it would have been a nightmare to try to brush on a finish in between all of those slats. I really like spray lacquer as you don't have to do much in between coats to still get a nice finish. After applying three coats, I used a brown paper bag to just scuff up the piece slightly. This gets rid of all the nibs that are left from the spraying process and it leaves a really nice smooth finish. Thank you so much for checking out this project. The inspiration from the Nelson bench uh, just kind of came to me one day when I was trying to figure out how to integrate this fridge in a way that kind of matched the room and what I wanted it to look like. Typically how the Nelson bench is made is each of these smaller little pieces are all one piece and they usually uh, use a dado stack or something like that to uh, make those grooves. I decided to go what I thought would be the easy route and cut them all as separate pieces and just glue and nail them as I went. That turned out to be pretty time consuming. So I don't know if I really saved much time doing that, but it was interesting to experiment and see if that would work. I'll leave a link below to where you can pick up one of these mini fridges. This thing's awesome. It holds a ton. You can actually save 20% if you use the code 20 Ulrich. If you're not already, I'd love for you to get subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and click that notification bell so that you can see the next time I upload something. Thanks again to New Air for sending me this, and I'll see you real soon.